Friends of Special Children Foundation urges Nigerians to extend love to physically challenged. A Beni based activist and executive director of Friends of Special Children Foundation, Mr. Oname Otwerero, wants Nigerians to extend love, care, and affection to children with special needs as they mark the Christmas and New Year celebration. Mr. Oname Otwerero stated this at the Christmas party he organized for some children with special needs in Benin City. Jimo Ogirima reports that Mr. Oname Otwerero further appeals to the Edo State Governor in person of Governor Godwin Nogegase Obasaki to as a matter of urgency signed the disability bill into law currently pending before him, adding that such gestures will go a long way in addressing the plight of the physically challenged in the state. Yeah, parents of children with special needs should not give up on them. When you have children who are living with one challenge or the other, it's not the end of the world. There are rooms to be developed. Like my child, she is highly developed today. She mingles with every other regular child. She plays with them. She even goes to school. So we don't need to give up on them. There is always a means of helping them. In a remark, a guest speaker, state focal person at those state social investment programs, Mrs. Osawumwame Alade Selu, said the Edo state government will continue to help the plight of the physically challenged in the state. I know that from time to time we reach out to them. Um, we can see that even uh, this place that we are in here now was built as uh, for, from the CSCP, the state government and I've known about this project. So the state is actually concerned about people living with disabilities. And that's why people uh, from some activities, we said we the hard state government to this development agency, training people with disabilities on shoemaking. And in the other areas that the state government is deliberately ensuring people to live the COVID 19 first wave, there was a direct reach out to people living with disabilities. Mm. Touching. But at the time, uh, when I came to their school, because before it, she was attending school, this, uh, the hearing ones, but when I got to their school at uh, Iviori, when I saw so many of them, my God, in fact, I was happy. You know, since then, she has been there, and uh, even here, this uh, foundation took him, they encouraged us, encouraged me. So everything, I just take it like that. My advice is that some people might, we have such children, this kind of children, they will hide them. That they should not hide them, they should bring them out. To mingle with their people. Because at times, herself, I will ask her not to go out. She will be crying. Maybe if you get to school, they will, uh, the, the others will be telling her, oh, we got this, we got that. She will come, she will be crying. So why don't I allow her to go out? At least she's big now. You understand? All that women should be doing the same. They should be bringing. Some children with special needs, Vivian Jude, Felicia Unjaku, and Osaze Omokare, who are visually impaired, called on the Ender State government to come to their aid in revamping the school for the blind and addressing insecurity ravaging the state. It's a nice one. Uh, it has been going well. It was fantastic. You know, uh, by the grace of God, we got this done. And well, for me, I feel good. Being in this condition or not, I feel good. I always feel good. I'm always a happy person. So sometimes though I'll feel uh, depressed, um, depression might come in, but I still tell what I'm alive. Yes. High point of the event was the distribution of food and some clothing materials for children with special needs. Uzaizi Udwefe Ideho reporting.